Hey pretty girls, it's Tay, and I'm about to show you all how to make a beaded bracelet very, very quick. So first things first, I'm going to try my best to find the Amazon or the Michaels link to this needle. But guys, this needle is game changer. All you got to do is just load your beads onto the needle. And as you all will see in a little while, all you have to do after you load the beads on is attach the string to the end of the hook and boom, you are done, guys. This is the best needle ever. I will never, ever, ever use another needle other than this brand i'm gonna try my best to leave it linked down below and if i do find it y'all get this needle today this is all you will need to load your beads onto your string very very fast Of course though, you have to still measure out your bead. I'm gonna just use, um, I'm doing a 17 cm beaded bracelet. Um, so I had to, I think load the bead thing up twice maybe. You all will see that in the video. I filled it all the way up to the top, attached it to the string, and then I have to add one more extra bead to it at the end. But you all will see that as well. Y'all, this is such an easy process. Like when I tell y'all, the only thing I will say is because it has that little hook at the end, um, you have to make sure your bead hole is kind of wide because if you have a very skinny or a very small bead hole, it definitely will not work. So I think keep that in mind as well. I believe this works best with 10 mm beads, maybe some 8 mm beads as well. But as y'all can see right here, I just put too many. So I just took that last one off and y'all, this is where the magic about to happen. Like just watch. So this is the string I'm using, just some Crystal Tech string, 0.5 mm. You definitely want thin string. Do not use thick string because if you use thick string, it will be super hard to tie the knot. So try to get um, 0.5 mm string. You can get the Stretchy Core, Crystal Tech. I like Opaline as well. All of that will be linked in my Amazon links down below. And y'all, this is where the magic is about to happen. Like as y'all can see, I'm doubling up the string. Um, I want to show y'all like the little loop in a second. Okay, they go to loop. Can y'all see that? I had to put it against my skin. <laughs> and literally, all you do is attach that little loop to the end of the needle. And it's going to be like a little hook, guys. And when I tell y'all, you are done, you are done. Like, boom. Look at that. Boom. Period. <laughs> Now, all you do here is just pull the string and pull the beads down the string. As you all can see, you know, y'all know stuff won't embarrass you when you're recording. But trust me, it won't be that hard when you, um, you know, get used to pulling it. So all you got to do is just pull the beads down the string and boom, like literally you are finished. Like you have a beaded bracelet already made in about three minutes, to be honest, like and watch watch me just just watch how i just attached this other bee real real quick and i'm done like we done boom see i told y'all this was super easy and then all i do now is just literally tie the um bracelet on up i didn't do like the double the double knot method because um i just feel like i didn't need to but i made sure i still use some glue make sure you put some glue on it okay tie the string up a couple times and then add you a little dab of glue and you are good to go and don't forget to hide that knot if you can you can hide the knot by pushing the bead over the knot if the bee hole is big enough i know sometimes some bee holes are smaller than others but if your bee hole is big enough make sure you go ahead and hide that that knot and you good you good girl So right here, I'm just still tying. Um, I think I have to look for some glue, but just make sure you kind of give it some pulls and don't cut too, too close to the edge, y'all, because I learned my lesson with that too. If you, close, if you cut too close to the edge of the knot, it's going to unravel. And right here, I'm just looking for some glue, so give me a minute. And then when I found the glue, I just opened it up. I got some regular little jewelry glue from Michaels, Amazon, guys, Hobby Lobby, anywhere. Put like a little dab and then push that B.O. over. Push the bead over the knot and you will be good. If you want to learn how to attach the charm, keep on watching because I want to add that part in now.
Okay, y'all, so I could have added the charm as I was beating, but I actually forgot. So all you gotta do is just open up the split ring and then twist it onto the string and you are good to go. If you wanna add charms, you can just add it at this step, like what I'm doing, or you can add it while you are actually beating the beads onto the needle. You just can put your charm in between and then tie it up that way. But I wanna just do it this way because I kind of forgot, but boom, there you go. We have a beaded bracelet with the charm in less than five minutes.